Hello, everyone. Susan Gerbic here from Psychics Explained. Um, I have, oh my gosh, I don't know why I laugh. <laughs> so I have a few little miscellaneous things for you, all Thomas John related. Received an email from Thomas John. Well, it's not the Susan Gerbic email account. He's emailing a different account that... Um, I've used to sting him before, which is odd that he's still using, he's still contacting me with that. But um, anyway, a couple of days ago, I received this email and it was pointed out to me by somebody on my team because I don't often read Thomas John's emails. But so what he's doing, well, heck, I'll read it to you and you can, you can uh, tell me what you think he's doing. But this is about a woman named Faith. Apparently, we, we assume her name is Faith. That's what he says her name is. So re read along with me and I'm, I'm going to sum this up. Okay, so you don't have to read it in depth with me, but it's on the screen. So if you want to pause and read it in full or just get one of his, get on his email list, you'll get an email every day from him <laughs> asking for um, a reading or something of the sort. So let's look this over. Here's the text part of it. And so this is a special opportunity. Uh, he wants to see if we might be interested in it. And you might be helping out someone who really he cares about. This is their, his really good friend, Faith. And she's a very gifted psychic. She's one, without a doubt, the most powerful psychic I have personally worked with. OMG. Okay. She's truly incredible. As many of you know, as a psychic, we often can't read for ourselves or we just sometimes want to have readings with others. No, no, we don't know that. We surf, First off, we don't know that anybody is actually psychic and, and these rules that they have, they can't read for themselves. It's just a way of explaining why it is that they have mishaps that happen to them in their lives. And they say, I mean, Sylvia Brown used to say that all the time. She's getting divorced and she's got family problems and nightmares and messes. And she'd say, oh, well, I can't read for, I can't see anything that it's for my family or for myself. And it's like, oh, that's, that's convenient. That, that lets you out of all the reasons why your life is a mess and, and you didn't see it coming. Anyway, that's, there's no rules, guys. There's no, nobody in the world of whatever spirit or whatever they talk about that is making these rules. It's, it's. It's just an out. It's an out for them. All right. Over the years, Faith has told me many things that have happened with amazing accuracy. And she's going on and he gives this stuff. Okay, so it doesn't matter what he's saying right here. He could fully be making it up. We don't know. Yeah, right. Okay. I'll be honest with you. Now, this is this is the best. I will be very honest with you when I say that I believe I am one of the most powerful mediums in the world. Thomas John is one of the most powerful mediums in the world. Powerful as in he can lift things or powerful in what way are we talking about? Because we know he hot reads. We know that he has no psychic ability whatsoever. Very interesting. I know that my gift of mediumship is profound. I am thankful God blessed me with this gift. Faith is equally gifted, but as a psychic, she is extremely accurate and extremely is in all, all caps. Okay. She's going through some challenges right now. She's disabled and has many medical expenses. She works as a full-time psychic and is single. She does not really have anyone who can take care of her and she pays her own bills. Oh, really? We know Zippo about Faith, not even a last name. We don't know anything about her. So if she is disabled, and she's on SSI or uh, anything of that sort where um, she's getting disability payments. Well, that's a poverty trap, as we all know. But the thing is, is that you can't just accept um, um, income because if you go to a certain point, then you lose your SSI. And you can, um, so things get handled under the table quite a bit with SSI. And if they don't get handled under the table, then she is... Um, potentially going to be having trouble um, if they find out that she's doing readings or that Thomas John is is going to be giving her money for this. Anyway, it's all 
a mess with what's going to happen coming up. So again, she can't, she's disabled. She has medical expenses. She has challenges. The most accurate psychic in the world. She can't do readings for herself. Okay. Whatever. And she is so amazing and so powerful and so awesome. And we can't know who she is. And why is she going through financial difficulties? If she's so awesome, she should be just, you know, working for the government or the military or whatever it is that they would do if, if she was so amazing, right? She pays her own bills. Well, okay, what does that mean? I pay my own bills. I bet people listening right now pay their own bills, whatever. She would like to book some readings because it would help her pay some bills. She's a loving, funny, sweet, and kind person. Well, we don't know that. We don't know who she is. We have no nothing other than testimonials from you, Thomas John, which doesn't make much sense. And it doesn't, it's like, what? She'd like to pay some bills. Well, I'd like to pay some bills too. Could you guys throw me some money? <laughs> I'm not making any off of YouTube, that's for sure. Um, okay, to book a reading with her, click here. In other words, click on Thomas John's own website and he will book the reading. It's It's once you book and pay, once you have booked and paid, then Faith will arrange the reading time with you. The money's going to go into Thomas John's through Thomas John. All right. She plans to get these all completed within the next week. That's nice. Her schedule is much, much more open than mine. Mm -hmm. So it'll be easy to book. She works weekends, evenings, and mornings. She is on Eastern Standard Time. She does not have a website. Oh, she's so amazing. She doesn't even have a website. So I'm helping her organize these the bookings. Uh huh. Thomas John, you have... Stay tuned to the last part of this video and we'll we'll talk again about his ability to organize and book readings. We will coordinate him so it's organized for her. Once you book and pay, we will send you times and dates that are open and you can pick the ones you need. Once you can't even manage your own schedule, Thomas John. Why are you trying to help this woman? Once you book and pay, how how Excuse me. So how much of a money, how much money are you getting out of this? How much of a cut do you get, Thomas Dunn? You're helping her. I'm helping her. Uh-huh. Many of many of you have had readings with me, and you know I would only recommend somebody I really trust or who gives you a kickback. Faith does not work as a medium. She's a psychic primarily, though she can do mediumship. Well, what what does that mean? Is she gonna speak to our dead relatives or not or is she just what i would re recommend her if you i would recommend you book her if you want a true psychic reading with predictions energy readings and she can work on any area for you for your finances anyone around you family issues family dramas obviously not her own to sign up please click here warmly thomas don warmly thomas don thank you thomas don for being so warm So no guarantees, no, no idea who this woman is, if she even exists. Um, we have no track record for her, nothing. Um, she's supposed to be so amazing and so accurate, yet she can't pay her bills. She doesn't have a website and she's, she's just like to have some money so that she could pay off her, um, her bills. So what do you think it costs for this faith reading, this person you're having on faith, get it? So we're supposed to just believe this on faith. Uh, people are going to fall for this. I bet he's booking readings for her right now. Good old faith. How much do you think it's costing? An hour? She could. She's amazing. She's so amazing for a whole hour with faith. Um, here, here's how much it costs. That's it. $320 an hour for faith, $320. You know why it's so expensive? Thomas John's going to take a cut. He's probably going to take half of that. Um, and none of it's reported to any um, IRS or anything of the sort on Thomas John or her side. I bet you anything. Um, one hour psychic phone reading. Our team will reach out to you via email to schedule booking the week of April 22nd, 2024. So they should be going on this pretty soon. Uh, day and evening appointments available. 
$320. We're just supposed to just hand over $320 because we trust Thomas John so much. Oh boy, my God. We trust him, right? Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to read a few things too. Fresh off the press. And I've, you might be involved in some of these Facebook groups where people talk about how they've had readings with Thomas John, or they want to get a reading, or they had uh, booked an appointment. And we probably have, if you go through these Facebook groups, just put in the words Thomas John scams or psychic or something like that. And you'll come up with these groups on Facebook if you're really interested. I know of two. I'm, I'm in the group. I don't run them. I'm in the group. But uh, one person, I'm not going to name her name, but she she just posted this April 15th. I'm recording this April 18th. And I'm going to read it to you because it's 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 fascinating. And I'm not going to make a lot of comments because, you know, this is a genuinely nice woman who is um, obviously a believer in the ability to have mediumship readings. So she says, I, too, thought I was a victim. I bought a special price one hour reading in October 2023. So it's over a year and a half from now. I scheduled it for March 2024. So last month. That was canceled. Responded with an email stating that I wish I would have Googled him first and, you know, his fraud and et cetera. So she she responds to him saying, you know, you canceled your appoint my appointment that I bought in October 2023. It was scheduled for March 2024 and you canceled it on me. And since then, I've learned what kind of person you are Thomas Don and so she responds with a an email telling him that so the staff responded with the usual no refund and scheduled me for a spiritual circle which was canceled I responded with another angry email which he Thomas John responded to a phone call message and text I followed him back and spoke to him directly and he said he'd give me my original one hour reading the following week which would be after easter easter of 2024 which he canceled via text and asked me if i could do it the following week at 10 a.m at this point i said sure never expecting it to happen well lo and behold he did call me at 10 a.m last tuesday and he gave me an hour reading he did it was it remarkable eh 75% of the things he stated could have been found online, but some things, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to say he redeemed himself by me. Really? Okay, no comment. Um. So in the messages, I asked, do you have a recording of it? Because, you know, I want to hear a recording. And she says, no, I didn't receive one. Come to think of it, that was stated when I purchased it in October that I would receive an, a recording. And so she reached out, called him again, or or talked to the staff. And they said, well, if it's a phone reading, we don't record it. We only record Zoom readings. So she should have had a Zoom reading. And I said, well, you probably should have just recorded it from your end. You can't record it if you're already on the phone with your phone. But there's other ways of recording it using even something as much like a, just putting on speakerphone and recording it using Zoom or your computer, all kinds of different apps or borrowing somebody else's phone. There's ways of, of recording and uh, trust me. And she says, I really wish I had found this Facebook group and all the articles and the videos we've released on him before she got involved in this. She's very sad. So um, she says, I said, you know, you should have recorded it from your end. And she says, I never thought to do that. I was in shock. He actually called. And I said, that sentence right there just sums up the whole experience of Thomas John. I was shocked. He actually did my reading. <laughs> anyway, um, other people are, have responded to the same post. She says, she's so mad at herself. She fell for this. I mean, don't be mad at yourself. I, I understand it's so sad you know there's so much built on trust in this world of the psychic mediums people just assume it's real because they've seen it on tv and and they've seen all these enablers um giving them tv shows and so on they just assume it's real it doesn't dawn on them to to google somebody first 
um, do an internet search of some kind first. And specifically what you should do, and you should do this with everything, not just with psychics, okay? You put in the name of the, whatever it is you're researching, and then put in the words like scam or fraud or something like that after. So you would say Thomas John scam, Thomas John fraud, Thomas John, um, you know, whatever. Um, because what you're hoping to do is get to the stuff that's past their website to get to reviews or to get to articles or to get to people um, or, you know, even go to Yelp or, or some of the other places like that, Better Business Bureau. Those should come up because what you're trying to do is see what it is is happening outside of just the positive stuff because in not only in the psychic business but generally all kinds of business restaurants and so on they want to sometimes they'll try to control the reviews that are made out of them they'll uh, spam them uh, with fake reviews and so on so you want to get to the stuff that's not uh, being covered up by the the business you want to do business with okay so another person said you know i really um I, I Googled beforehand, but I didn't see any of this, which is sad because it should be pretty prominent. I don't see how you can't type in Thomas John. Use the quotes so you get Thomas John uh, medium. So you, so you go right not to Thomas John from some other kind of Thomas John. And you should go right to finding articles, especially Wikipedia. I mean, it's all on Wikipedia. It's not hard to find. But so, you know, it, these people are being taken advantage of. Again, keep in mind, a lot of the people who are trying to get readings from these psychics are people who are in grief. First off, they believe that he's real and they believe that um, the people have the ability to communicate with the dead. So, you know, they're not even challenging that at all. Um, they're raised that way. And a lot of them are in vulnerable situations at the moment they book that reading. You know, they have they're in grief, somebody's just died, or they're very, very lonely, or, you know, something's happening, they have some serious questions, so they're not necessarily thinking as critically as they probably would have if they had been uh, not in that situation. So somebody else said, Thomas John took, took so long to book you because he was having trouble finding information on you. Um, possibly, I don't know. I, I, it's it's possible so <laughs> it's just interesting the different comments we get on this channel itself i get read i get messages constantly there's a couple videos here that are you know have like a oh gosh i 50 000 views or something already i don't even know but i get comments from people and i used to be like deleting them or whatever because they just seem like spam but I'm kind of starting to let those go and just let them appear on my, on my, um, under the videos. There's so many comments, hundreds and hundreds of, of comments. And every once in a while we get people who, well, not every once in a while, all the time people are telling me I'm, I'm jealous of Thomas John. It's usually the seatbelt psychic videos. And I don't know if they're even watching the whole video because the comments they make are, they're obviously not looking at the other videos because what one, uh, one I get often is you should get a reading from Thomas John. He's the real, real thing. And I'm like, yeah, I've already done that. <laughs> it's all here on the channel. And I've participated in multiple of his gallery readings. I've been there and I've had my own personal reading and he hot read me. He read the information that was on um, our Facebook page. I was there in person and you know, he didn't get my real personality. He got the one that we had given him on Facebook. And we've done that over and over and over again. I've had a few people who've written to me, uh, left comments under these videos that said, why don't you get a fake profile and give it to him and see what happens? And I'm like, what a great idea. Did it in 2017. It's all been written about in the New York Times. You know, I put these links underneath these popular videos, but they don't go and look at the comments. They just leave me a comment. And then they disappear, and we, most of the times you never hear from them again. Um, it's it's really fascinating um, how many people watch the Seatbelt Psychic show and believe it's real. They still challenge me on, there's no way that this is a TV show. And you're like, how at this point can you not see that? It's it's like, <laughs> I'm 
obviously a TV show. It's on TV. Where do you think those cameras are coming from? <laughs> There's angles from all different ways. Of course, it's a TV show. I have an interview with one of the people who was in there. And I've shown other people who were in the backseat of that car. And I mean, at a certain point, there's no way of educating some people. They just want to, they have a belief and nothing you can say is going to invalidate that belief. It's interesting. It's really interesting. Psychologically, I find this fascinating. Anyway, so like, share, comment on this video. Um, I'm happy to do that. I, If anybody knows who this faith person is or does get a reading or anything like that, I want to know who she is. So please be in contact, um, you know, uh, you can get a hold of me at Susan Gerbic at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment here, or you can Facebook message me. I'm, I'm very approachable. Thanks, everybody.